everyone, Absolute Zero here with a review of uh, these nunchucks. As far as I know, as far as I know, I don't know their exact name. I got them at my local dojo, and my sensei found. I think he found them in the Century Martial Arts catalog. I tried searching on their site, but I couldn't find them. Um, to my knowledge, these are made out of redwood, but I'm not entirely sure of that as well. So throughout this video, I'm going to refer to them as uh, Century Martial Arts or Redwood Chucks, because that's what I believe them to be. Anyways, um, on to my actual review. The first thing that came to my mind when I picked these up, when my sensei handed them to me, I thought, wow, these things are really heavy. As in, these are most likely not meant to be freestyle chucks. These are probably meant to be weapons. Um like traditional wooden weapons, not freestyling. If I compare the weight to something, uh, if you ever made your own chucks, uh, if you ever made them out of poplar, or these are 12 inch poplar chucks, uh, DIYs, and I would say that the Redwood Century Martial Arts chucks are about three times heavier than um, poplar 12 inch chucks. And um, so yeah, some actual specs about these, uh, like I said, they're Redwood, these are nice because they're um, octagonal and they're tapered, if you can tell from right here. Um, and they're octagonal. Uh, a big con about this, I don't know if it was just my bad luck or something Century Martial Arts has a bad habit of doing with wooden nunchucks, is that when I first started swinging them, I was doing, you know, a pretty simple behind the shoulder uh, uh, pass. And um, I actually caught a splinter right here on my hand. I'm not sure you can see. And it was about a 2 inch splinter, or not 2 inch, that'd be crazy. 2 centimeter splinter, so that's a pretty darn big splinter, maybe about this large. And it was caught inside my hand because um, of the friction. So, what I noticed was that the splinter actually came from one of these grooves right here, about the edges around them right here. Um, so that's a big con with these. Uh, like I said, I don't know if it's my bad luck or Century Martial Arts. But I did get a splinter from one of these, and with any any wooden chucks you ever buy, or any chucks, or really anything, look for cracks or abnormalities, just in case if it's really bad, return them. If it's not that bad, uh, you can fix it yourself. Generally, for me, I uh, I I just sanded down the uh, the edges of the grooves uh, with an electric sander, and I'd recommend you do that too, just in case. Just like the circular edges parts right here around the around the insides and around the outsides. I also just took a light sander, or took an electric sander and sanded uh, all eight sides since it is octagonal. Um, just up and down a couple of times. Uh, just keep on going. It's not polished or anything. It's just the wood. So you're not going to be ruining any very fine finishes or anything like that. Another thing to note, these were strung with 5 inch white nylon cord and um, if you looked inside at the very beginning before I took them out, they had um, they had they were hot glued in there. That immediately tells you that if the cording had to be hot glued inside the nunchuck, that's a big uh, safety thing. As in, you know, we had to glue it in there instead of just tying it in. So I didn't trust that, even if it was triple string. I cut the nylon out, or I cut the nylon cord out. And I saw it was already fraying on the insides. Um, so I took that out, and then once I took it out, uh, it was just the wood. Inside, the little, the little wall created once you drill the top and bottom hole, you could tell it wasn't really smoothed out since it, they, uh, Century Martial Arts digs it, uh, makes the hole in here really deep, like the groove to put both the string, to put the strings in. Um, so what I took, I just took out some sandpaper and then folded in half, and kind of went inside and sanded the wall that's uh, in between the top and bottom bores and made sure those are nice and smooth and then I took a little drill bit and I stuck it inside the uh, top and bottom holes and then just spun it around a little bit um, to make sure that the holes were clean like there weren't any special there weren't any uh, small parts inside the hole that were sticking out or anything like that and I did that for the top and bottom holes on both sides and uh, like I said, I sanded down the inside wall of um, in between the top and bottom for both of these, of course. Um, 
the top bores right here, they are very smooth, so they're not going to be fraying your cord anytime soon. For me, like I said, these are felt really heavy, so I didn't think too, or I didn't feel safe or comfortable with two, with two strings of paracord, so I did three strings. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't really have anything to do with the, uh, with the actual performance or anything. It just takes a bit more cording. And a little bit of cording just for extra safety is worth it in my opinion. Um, if you've never done triple string before, this was the first time I've ever triple string nunchucks. It's um, it's actually relatively easy. Uh, you can look up videos on that on YouTube. Um, so, what would I rate these chucks? I would say they are nice chucks i mean i do like the wood and for me basically since i just took apart the string and nunchucks are two pieces of wood connected by a string i was just paying for the wood and i like them i like the feel of them they're nice uh as far as i know they're redwood even though it is very heavy i feel like if i dropped them on concrete they wouldn't break or crack a little bit or like i mean break or crack majorly um I would probably rate these uh, 7 out of 10. Uh, the reason they're not higher is because of uh, the, the splinter, of course, uh, that I got from using these. You know, splintering after you get, uh, getting a splinter from a new product is a very big bad sign that it was probably poorly crafted or they didn't take enough time for it. Um, and then the paracord, or not the paracord, the nylon cord and the glue, that took it down a couple points as well because um, nylon cord is not good for nunchucks because it's really weak compared to paracord. And then they hot glued it in there, so that was a bad sign too. Um, other than that, would I recommend you get these? These right now are my main freestyle chucks because they are so heavy compared to my popular chucks, which I would classify as light chucks. Um, and after I use these, and I use uh, some light chucks as normal chucks, they my speed is crazy. Uh, it's so it's so much faster since these are basically like you have to actually be careful, and you know it's so heavy too. So the change is um, the change between heavy to light will most likely improve your performance as well. So if you're looking for some heavy chucks and you don't have any more, these cost me about $10 or so. They'll probably cost you $15 if you buy them from the catalog. I would say get them if you're looking for heavy chucks to practice with. Don't get them if you're not a heavy, a big fan of heavy chucks. Um, and don't get them if you're going to be doing, if you're going to be using these for performances or anything like that. Unless you do performances with heavy chucks, of course. Um... So that is my review of them. I hope you guys found it helpful and uh, absolutely zero out.